So we now see the internal structure of the kidney. So internal structure of the kidney. A longitudinal section of kidney in the figure of 9.2 shows two main regions. An outer dark cortex and an inner lighter medulla. The medulla is composed of a fine stripped substance arranged in several conical pyramids. The apex of each pyramid, papilla, projects into the pelvis of the kidney. The kidney is composed of enormous number of minute tubules called uniferous tubules or nephrons or renal tubules or just kidney tubules. So all these are the name for the same thing. Uniferous tubules, nephrons, renal tubule or just kidney tubules. These are the structural as well as the functional unit of the kidney. So it is this particular nephron or it is this particular urinary or uh, 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 sorry uniferous tubules which are the structural and functional unit of the kidney. Okay, the kidney is made up of it and the function of the kidney is due to the presence of this nephrons. So let's understand the uh, first of all the structure of the kidney. So we see the structure of the kidney. It's a bean shaped thing. Okay, kidney is something like this and uh, over here there are this is one outer coating over here okay and uh, then there is one more layer like this okay and then we have over here the It's double walled. Yeah, uh, remember one thing they have asked the structure of kidney in the board examinations once or twice. So you need to draw this figure, you need to practice drawing this figure, and, uh, yeah, and finally, are these kinds of substances the pep the pyramid shaped things okay and this is all dotted appearance yeah. so this is uh, the kidney you can see easy to draw nothing uh, more, more problematic so we will just name the parts of course the dotted part over here is the cortex the uh, this one over here is the papilla Then over here, this is the helium, the notch-like structure that is a helium. And uh, then this part is the pelvis. And finally, the yeah, the papilla is here, and uh, the medulla is the inside. Yeah, this part is the medulla. So this is the medulla, and finally are uh, the pyramids. So these are the pyramids okay uh, sorry the papilla is not this one it is this one there's a papilla okay and finally this one of course is the ureter so we read this thing once again to understand it properly the first is the larger section there are two sections the darker section the cortex so this is the darker section which is the cortex okay this is the cortex and uh, the lighter one is the medulla so this one this lighter one is the medulla okay this is the medulla and uh, the medulla is composed of fine strip uh, substances arranged in several conical pyramids so these are the conical pyramids in which the medulla is uh, arranged in. the apex of each medulla each pyramid that is the papilla projects into a pelvis so this over here this is projects into the Pelvis. So all these pyramids are ending it over here and then this ending is called as the uh, papilla uh, and uh, it, it is entering into the pelvis and from this pelvis it is uh, having the ureter connected. 
Now the kidney is composed of enormous number of minute tubules called the unifast tubules. So that we already understood. So this was the structure of the kidney, right? So yeah, quite easy to draw. So this was the kidney. Now we see the next part of the kidney and that is the nephron. So we are now going to see the structure of the nephron. Now the diagram which I am going to draw now is very 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 important. It has been asked many times. Okay, So that's why it is very important for you to uh, learn to draw this one. So firstly is I am going to say that there are is like this I will explain it in a time. I just draw this figure properly so that there is no confusion later on. So, with here and yeah, and things here. Okay, we have got connected now this one. Yeah, so here we go. We start with this thing. First of all, let us understand uh, what is over here. We this over here is the efferent. It's the efferent artery. This one over here is the efferent artery. Now, over here is the, okay, I just said, that is the glomerulus network, glomerulus network. Now, this one over here is the Bowman's capsule. The Bowman's capsule and this is coming from the renal artery so it is from the renal artery the renal artery uh, yeah so we'll start with this and then we'll go further up till now we just need to understand this much first and then we'll talk about the other parts so the blood from the heart is going to the aorta and from the aorta it is going to the renal artery the renal artery which is coming from the heart 
will come near the kidney and then inside the kidney it enters and forms in the efferent arteriole efferent a a se chalo hona efferent arteriole so the blood enters into the kidney into the different nephrons all these are basically these are nephrons okay the nephrons are uh, this is one nephron this is one nephron and we have got millions of such nephrons in the kidney the kidney has got many 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 such nephrons in our body in in the kidney what and each and every nephron is going to do the process of producing the urine so you see over here that the blood is going to come through the renal artery and enter into the efferent arteriole over here now the diameter of the efferent arteriole is bigger but later on as it comes over here it forms into a bundle like structure which is called as glomerulus network and this glomerulus network ke baad ka jo efferent arteriole hai yani it is going to go further and that particular arteriole which is there is narrower than this one you can see this is broader and this is narrower so efferent arteriole is narrower than the efferent arteriole usse kya hoga now you can imagine you are traveling to the like suppose hum uh, log uh, uh, pune se wapas aa rahe hain so you are in the express highway express highway hai yaar bada sa rasta hai theek hai to sab gaadi aaram se ja rahi hai koi traffic nahi ho raha hai kuch nahi ho raha hai but the moment you reach the toll nakha which is narrowing down what happens to the congestion so pressure wahan pe bad gaya so same thing happens over here that the blood which is coming over here is flowing very fast very smooth very big in spurts continuously but when it reaches over here because there is a traffic jam over here that's why the pressure over here increases the pressure over here increases in such a manner that the complete water which is present and complete dissolved minerals which are present in the blood they get oozed out from this glomerulus network yani jo blood ke under contents kaun sa hai ek to hai plasma aur dusra kya hai rbc wbc platelets to rbc wbc platelets sirf reh jata hai ये ब्लड के कैपिलरी ये कैपिलरीज के अंदर एंड द कंप्लीट पार्ट ऑफ द प्लाज्मा द कंप्लीट थिंग इंक्लूडिंग द एक्सेस ग्लूको एक्सेस क्या जितना चाहिए उतना पानी उतना शुगर सब कुछ जो भी बॉडी को चाहिए वो भी सब कुछ ईच एंड एवरी थिंग विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड विच इज अदर देन आरबीसी डब्ल्यू बी सी प्लेटलेट्स आर गोइंग टू बी remaining retained over here and balance everything each and every liquid which is present in that particular liquid and the dissolved minerals which is present in it they all will get excreted out in excreta you can say you can filter out will not get excreted out it is filtered out it is called a uh, filtered out over here right and this filtering out is called as ultra filtration okay so what happens over here is ultra filtration so the complete thing complete thing is coming over here yani jitna bhi liquid part hai whatever is the liquid part of your blood uh, it's going to be coming out from this particular capillaries which is called as a glomerulus network and from the glomerulus network whatever is the liquid part along with the salts and the glucose and everything which is required which is no, which is there in the blood is going to be removed completely over here this removed thing is going to be collected by a cup like structure over here this cup like structure what you can see over here is called as a bowman's capsule okay so the glomerulus filtrate we the liquid what is given out over here by the glomerulus is called as a glomerulus filtrate the glomerulus filtrate is going to be collected by the bowman's capsule the bowman's capsule is going to collect that all the liquid and allow it to pass over here ओके okay, यानी यहां पे कलेक्ट होगा और ये इधर जा रहा है यूरिन बनने के लिए ठीक है दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ओवर हियर सो लेट्स सी दिस पर्सन विल जस्ट रीड आउट दिस पर्टिकुलर व्हाट इज द बोमेंस कैप्सूल सो ईच किडनी ट्यूब्यूल हैज फॉलोइंग पार्ट्स बोमेंस कैप्सूल इट इज अ थिन वॉल्ड सिंगल सेल थिक एपिथेलियम कप समटाइम्स लाइक अ हॉलो बॉल प्रेस्ड डीप On one side. Okay, हम लोग rubber ball लेते हैं ना rubber ball का पुचकी वाला हो जाता है या फट जाता है तो कैसे क्या हम लोग उसे दबाएंगे तो it forms a cup, right? Ball ऐसा दब जाता है. Exactly is the Bowman's capsule because it's double wall. ऐसा है ना उसको पचक करके ऐसा कर दिया. So that is Bowman's capsule. The outer concavity of the cup 
lodges are not not like mass of blood capillaries called glomerulus so this is a not like structure which is a glomerulus which is entering which is there placed on the bomas capsule ye ye hai glomerulus aur ye bomas capsule to ye bomas capsule yahan pe pada hua hai is tarah se hai this is the arteries the the, the, uh, the renal artery and yahan se glomerulus filtrate jo glomerulus se hai ye aur ye hai bomas capsule The Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus together are called Malfeasian capsule or just renal capsule. So this complete thing, this complete thing over here, this complete thing is called as the the this particular part over here, this part is called as the Malfeasian Malfeasian capsule or just renal capsule. Okay, Malfeasian capsule or renal capsule is the name given to this particular combination of Bowman capsule with the glomerulus. Now, what happens? Further, this goes into three stages. The first stage over here is the green line over here. So this one over here. So the, whatever is the glomerulus which is coming over here, it is going to enter into the uh, the tube over here. And this tube, which are there, these tubes are called as the proximal convoluted tubes or we can say pct or you can just say yeah it's proximal yeah proximal convoluted tubes also called as pct or first convoluted tubes or pct so proximal convoluted tube or pct so this go passes the pct then it goes over here this particular cord is called as the loop of henley okay so loop of henley is this one and then this part the other part this this one over the green part over here is called as the uh, dct that is the distal convoluted tubes so it is distal convoluted Distal convoluted, convoluted tube, called as DCT. Okay, so the whatever is the blood content, the fluid content of the blood, okay, the plasma of the blood is going to pass through first the proximal convoluted tube, then goes into the loop of Henle, and then it goes to the distal convoluted tube. and then enters over here into the this is nothing but the collecting duct so this is collecting duct which opens up into the pelvis for urine collection so this is one side so what happens to the thing is it passes like this goes through this goes through this goes here goes here goes here goes here like this then like this then like this and goes like this so this is how the path of the plasma abhi agar pura ka pura plasma agar aise hi drain out ho jayega the body is going to be a problem it is going to be a big problem for the body because the body has got only 6 liters of blood over 6 liters mein se agar ye is tarah se pani sab bhar phek dega sab ko salt ball sugar puka sab kuch phek dega to body ka to problem ho jayega so that's why what happens is This particular efferent arterio, arterial, arterial is then passing over here, and in this case, it is going to absorb the required constituents of the blood from in the PCT. So in the PCT, whatever the water it wants, okay, it needs water, it needs certain amount of glucose, it needs certain amount of salts. That particular amount of the constituents which the body requires or the blood requires for its normal constitution it is going to reabsorb it is going to reabsorb the body is going to so see the um, at the pct the reabsorption is going to take place of the water the minerals and the glucose which is required for the body further again some more amount of reabsorption is going to take place in the loop of henle and finally whatever is the amount of water some more amount of water which is required for its flow will be taken in by the dct 
So the DCT, the distal conjugated tubes, is going to reabsorb. So in the three places, this PCT, lupovenin and DCT, there is reabsorption taking place of the constituents of the blood which were being discarded or which had been thrown out in the glomerulus filtrate. So accordingly what will happen is that when the blood is going to, so this one goes, this particular thing is going to the renal vein. Okay, this goes to the renal vein. So the renal vein mein jabhi blood wapes jayega, tabhi wo renal vein mein jo blood hoga, it will have all the constituents of the blood, which is the normal constituents of blood. The, the right amount of sugar, right amount of so like glucose, right amount of uh, the salts, right amount of water, everything will be there. And the excess amount of everything, including the vitamins or including the medicines or what we have taken, everything is going to be excreted out and is going to be going into the collecting duct, which is going into the urinary bladder so that is the pelvis and from there to the urinary bladder so that is the formation of the urine taking place so at this particular point the formation of the urine takes place so you can see over here proximal or first convoluted tube is the starting convoluted region of the tubule that is proximal means nearer or nearer to the Bowman's capsule both the Bowman's capsule and the proximal convoluted tube lie in the cortex giving it a dotted appearance in the sectional view. So we had so seen the uh, figure. In the figure we saw that the dotted appearance of this particular cortex is due to the presence of the PCT and the glomerulus present. This, this part of the kidney of the uh, nephron is present in the cortex and that gives it a dotted appearance because it is made up of filter material so that is the bowman's capsule and the uh, proximal convoluted tube in the cortex middle u-shaped part that is a loop hair handle is shaped like a hairpin it is not convoluted it runs in medulla to turn back and to re-enter the cortex to continue in the next convoluted region of the tubule. So again you can see that again this part is again going to be in cortex but this part over here is going to be in the medulla. Okay, ye medulla mein hoga, ye fir se cortex mein jayega. Convoluted regions, convoluted yane kya? Aise curvy curvy. This is curvy curvy like this. So this is convoluted. So convoluted parts are in the cortex and the non-convoluted part is in the medulla. The next comes the DCT, distal convoluted tube, again lying in the cortex, is the, is the end part of the kidney tubule, the distal means far, further, farther uh, or away from the Bowman's capsule. It opens into the collecting duct, the collecting duct receives the contents of many kidney tubules and pours it as urine in the pelvis of the kidney. Hanley's loop and collecting duct lie in the medulla giving it a stripped appearance in the sectional view. The stripped appearance, that particular pyramid stripped appearance, jo hai, that is the thing but the appearance of the loop of Henle and the collecting duct. So that was about the structure of the Bowman's capsule, right? We saw the efferent arterial broader, efferent arterial narrower, glomerulus, glomerulus network, the capillaries, the Bowman's capsule, the first convoluted tube, that is the proximal convoluted tubes, the loop of Henle and the descent, uh, distal convoluted tube, DCT, and then the collecting duct. These are the uh, things of the, uh, this diagram, complete diagram is very, very important as I told you earlier. Now we see the part of how the function takes place. So blood supply to the kidney tubules. A pair of renal arteries branch off from the dorsal or outer to enter the respective kidneys. Each renal artery branches and rebranches several times to give rise to arterioles. Each such arterioles enters the Bowman's capsule under the name of efferent arteriole. So the efferent means to bring in. So that's why we say that outer say renal artery gaya, or renal artery say bohat sare chote 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 arterioles bane and each arterioles is entering into the boom uh, into the uh, nephron in the form of efferent arteriole this efferent arteriole breaks into number of capillaries which form the knot like mass glomerulus closely fitting inside the bowman's capsule 
the reuniting cap capillaries of the glomerulus form the efferent arteriole the efferent arteriole after emerging from the bowman's capsule runs a short distance and break into secondary capillary networks so these are the secondary capillary networks okay these are the secondary capillary networks whereas this one is the this one is the efferent arteriole which is formed over there secondary capillary network vasa recta which surrounds the renal tubule so this is what is surrounding the renal tubule over here and rejoins to form the vein so it is then going to form the renal vein by re by uniting again and again with other veins of the kidney it ultimately forms the renal vein which leaves the kidney at the median surface to pour out the blood into the posterior vena cava so they say that 350 times a day through the kidney all the body blood passes through the kidney 350 to 400 times a day at the rate of 1 to 2 liters per minute okay so the blood is going to circulate in that way we can imagine that the total blood capacity in a body is 6 liters and if it is passing 2 to 3 liters per minute then automatically it is clearing out the uh, waste so fast so this was about the process now we see the functions of the kidney and production of urine uh we'll take it in the next video